What's up, guys? Pete Mundo, HeartlandCollegeSports.com. So uh, we've got the new camera. We're good to go. Clear. You can see me clearly. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. You can see the uh, Heartland College Sports banner clearly. You can see my dog, although he's black, so maybe you can't see him clearly. Oh, all right. I got a little uh, screwed up. There we go. We're clear. Cam Brock wrote about this on our website, and it got a lot of traction. It got a lot of attention, and that is college game day coming to the Big 12 for – a um, another week second straight week and he basically said it's all about the fact that ESPN is promoting its properties last week was the SEC network when it was Kentucky and West Virginia this week it's going to be the Longhorn network I look at that and I think it's more to, there's more to it here's what I believe college game day wanted to do next week they have yet to be to a Big Ten game. I think what they had penciled, this is just me guessing. I don't have any inside knowledge on this. The game they had penciled in was Indiana at home against Michigan State. They had done an SEC game to start it, to start college game day. They did Florida, Kentucky. They did the West Virginia game last week against Kentucky. And they hadn't done a Big Ten game yet. So, makes the most sense. Michigan State on the road against Indiana. Problem is, it's Michigan State. You're going to go to a game involving Michigan State one week after you blow them up on outside the lines for allegedly covering up uh, rampant sexual assaults over nearly 20 years? Even though it's at Indiana, you can't get around that. You can't avoid that storyline. So I think that's the game because also that game is at 8.15 Eastern time on ESPN. I guarantee that that was in the running, and then the Michigan State situation blew it up. So then you're going through the list, and you're like, all right, are we going to do Kentub? Are we going to do Pittsburgh, North Carolina? Uh, you know, are we going to do um, – I'm trying to look at what – Alabama at Florida. We already did SEC, all SEC. We did Kentucky two straight weeks. We were at Florida a couple of weeks ago. It, there wasn't much to choose from, so they threw the Big 12 a bone. They gave them the Texas-Oklahoma game. But I don't believe for a second – that that was their first choice at all. I, I really don't. I think it was Michigan State, Indiana, but they couldn't do it. So they threw the Big 12 a second straight game. I don't buy that it's about the Longhorn Network anymore because Longhorn Network is what it is. It, they're losing money on it. It's not a great product, doesn't get a lot of clearance, and they're just going to sail out the contract as best they can. So my two cents on it, no inside knowledge, but I think there's a pretty good story there to, to make the case. Pete Mundo with you on heartlandcollegesports.com. Subscribe, comment, rate, review. More videos coming at Heartland College Sports.